you're also made world news, world headlines for the Dale Cregan thing. Yeah. They bought the cop killer who killed the two coppers. You were yeah. apparently harboring them, keeping well, them away and making, giving them money. And Yeah, they, 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 but that was another manipulation by the, the police, you know. Basically, what happened? Um, Dale Cregan was associated... Um, and this is what I like about police intelligence, mm -hmm. right? Because, oh, here it is. So the police intelligence suggests that Dale Cregan, Lee Kelly and Jermaine Ward each had connections with Dave Campbell, right? Now, why that is in there was because Dave Campbell pulled my pants down for 1.6 million quid. He pulled my pants down, like, I've done so much work with him and I give him all my money to look after. And then one day I've wanted him to ask for a lot of money. He said, you ain't got no money with me. I was like, what about this? What about that? What about this? And he was like, no. And then other people that were close to him, I rang him up. I said, remember that day I got that money? Who's with that money? He said, yours. I said, well, your partner's trying to tell me now that it's his. He was like, no, it ain't. So basically me and Dave had a problem. We had a falling out. Dave had his legs broken and got absolutely obliterated and then got pressured into pulling up my money. Um, he put a contract out on me and it says here, the police have been able to confirm that Osman warnings, threats to life, were given to Marvin Herbert on the 6th of the 10th, 2010, the 8th of the 10th, 2010, the 24th of the 12th, 2010, the 18th of the 7th, 2nd, 2011, the 12th of the 4th, 2011, the 4th of the 1st, 2012, and the 30th of the 1st, 2012. So these was all information that the police have got that my life was going to be in danger or people planning to kill me. So this Dave Campbell <clears throat> tried to pay Lee Kelly £150,000 to kill me over this problem that we had over this money. Um, and basically, what the case with Dale Cregan was, basically, Dale Cregan sent Jermaine Ward to visit or to contact me. Now, Jermaine Ward was someone that used to hang about with Lee Kelly um, and Lee Kelly me and Lee used to do a lot of business with Dave Campbell before me and Dave fell out and basically I took m my cousin to do something with me in Manchester one day and he took Jermaine to my family's house in Liverpool right so basically one day I'm sitting in my cousin's house in Liverpool and one of the boys has rung my cousin up and said there's a geezer at my door looking for Marvin it's unheard of Liverpool's my safe haven. That's where my family are. No one knows where my people are in Liverpool that we have ag with. So I've gone to my cousin, this is a problem. That's got to be Dave and them lot. They've found out where I am. I've got to go and iron him out. Right? So I've turned up to iron out whoever's at this door thinking they're there to kill me. Right? Jermaine's there. Jermaine, I said, what the fuck? He's like, oh, Marv, Dale needs to speak to you. I said, where is he? He said, he's out of the way at the minute. He needs to speak to you. We've had a bit of a problem. I said, about what? He said, oh, but so a couple of people have been shot. This is happening, that's happening. He needs to speak to you. I was like, mate, you know what? Um, I ain't really got time to see him, you know, because to me, he's connected to Lee and to Dave and to the, my money. So he might be trying to lure me somewhere to get me ironed out so the money ain't paid, right? So I said, look, the young kid that looked after me when I got shot, Sam Wilby, yeah, he got nicked with me as well on this. Um, He'd invited me to, his brother was leaving this country. He'd been, he'd joined the services, the army, and he was leaving this country going on tour. So they was doing a leaving party for him in Hearn Bay. So I got invited to this Hearn Bay reunion on the 18th of the month. I can't remember which month specifically it was. So what I said to Jermaine was, if he wants to see me, yeah, tell him to come to Hearn Bay on this date and meet me here at this time and I'll see him. Not a problem. Not thinking he'd turn up. I didn't think he'd turn up. So, boom. I've turned up to her Bay doing what I'm doing, walked out onto the road, and I've seen Jermaine and Dow. I said, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, yeah, sweet, 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 sweet. I said, what, what the fuck do you want to need to see me for? He said, Marv, listen, I need help. I said, doing what? He said, I need to get out of the country. I said, I'm not really in all that stuff no more, you know. He was like, what do you mean? I said, well, me and Dave don't really have anything to do with each other no more. Why don't you go and speak to Dave? He said, nah, what it is, I've hand grenaded someone. I was like, what? The fuck? I said, why are you coming to see me for? I said, you know, that's terrorism, isn't it? He was like, what are you on about? I said, bruv, 
we can't get nicked. We can't even get seen together. Come. So I've took them to my mate's house where I had a key for. And I've gone in. I said, mate, you can't, you, you better go and hand yourself in. I said, you're fucked. Well, you threw a hand grenade on someone. He said, yeah. I said, mate, you're fucked. You're fucked. Trust me. I said, you're never coming out. You do know that, don't you? He was like, my, my, my. I said, mate, I can't get involved in this. I've got other things going on. I can't get involved. Kind of long story short. Um, he's with Jermaine. I like Jermaine because Jermaine was Lee's friend. So I sort of said to them, like, look, Jermaine, J let Jermaine go. Let him hand himself in. So I've said to Jermaine, go and hand yourself in and tell the police that these lot threatened you and you had to do what they told you. They put a gun to you. They were going to threaten you. They threatened your family. Just go and hand yourself in. But Jermaine couldn't do that. So he went and handed himself in. He handed himself in, but he wouldn't tell the police that they threatened him. So he got 35 years recommended, the fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? And they bullied him into driving. Like, do you know what I mean? Anyway, um, and then basically he went off and shot the two police officers. And then what he'd done, when he went off and left me, I left and took Jermaine and then put give Jermaine the money to get in on a train and go and hand himself in. He went and hand himself in. Now, that one them lot left. Now, what happened later, and this is what the police intelligence, the police intelligence um, confirmed, Dale Cregan, look, a man called Tony Barnett, who owns a business in Hearn Bay, is in debt to many different people. It's widely known that some of those people are from up north. One of those males who did the shooting and the name Cregan had been mentioned. Cregan is owed money by Tony Barrett, who lived in Hearn Bay. So that was why he was in Hearn Bay. He wasn't in Hearn Bay to see me. So what he'd done, he turned up to see this fella and remembered where my mate lived and he knocked on the door to see if he could get hold of me. But he nicked my mate's dad's phone, right? He's nicked my mate's dad's phone, right? My mate's dad didn't even realise, right? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I thought he lost it. Dale Cregan, yeah, only went and handed himself in the fucking police station with that phone. Right? So I believe he handed himself in the police station with that phone because I never helped him get out of the country. Do you know what I mean? And that phone connected to my mate's dad. My mate's dad got nicked, never broken the law at all in his life, never been nicked with a parking ticket. He got nicked, his son got nicked, another straight goer, never been nicked before. Fucking spud here. Yeah, for four murders. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then they're banged up in strange ways. I'm in Spain. I've heard about him getting nicked. I was like, what the fuck? Next thing you know, boom, my door's come through in Spain. I'm nicked. I'm coming out of the gym, they nicked me. Four murders. Do you know what I mean? I was like, what the fuck? And then, all come, and then all the intelligence set me free. 